Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast, where you can use your crochet to build a business that will give you the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. Knowing how to crochet does not mean that you know how to sell crochet. They are two completely different skills. You can be the most fantastic crocheter in the world, but unless you know a thing or two about business and how to sell, you're going to have difficulty selling at a price that makes it pay. It's actually relatively simple to sell crochet cheap, but if you sell it cheap, one, you're barely going to get the cost of your yarn back, and two, you're actually going to lose money. You can do that really easily, but you can't call yourself a business. A business makes money. If you're losing it, you don't have a business, you have an expensive hobby. Now, hands up, I am completely guilty of this. It's how I started out. I started selling my crochet because I wanted to make a bit of extra cash to help the family finances. And I thought, if I just make a few bits, I can sell them and make a bit of extra cash. So I made a few things. I sold a few things. And I thought, because I'm selling, I must be making money, right? Wrong. Completely wrong. And I didn't realise this until I eventually sat down and worked out the numbers. Properly sat down and worked out. I went through receipts. I went through my PayPal account. I went through everything to find out how much money I was actually making. And when I found out, I was horrified. I wanted to cry when I saw the numbers. It was absolutely awful. I started selling my crochet so that I could make some extra money to help out with um, our finances. And it turned out I was costing us a small fortune. What I'd done was I assumed that because I was selling, I was making money. What I was doing instead was using this so-called business as an excuse to go on a shopping spree. I bought lots of different yarns, thinking that it was a great way to offer my customers variety. I bought loads of accessories like buttons, zips and whatever else, thinking I can make something really interesting with those and my customers will love it. Half this stuff never got used. The colour variations weren't great. And because I'd bought random balls of yarn, I now had a stash that wasn't very useful for a business. Because it was all filled with all different kinds of brands and one colour um, yarn. You know, one colour of, of... Oh, what's the word? A ball of yarn. <laughs> Oy, sometimes you just can't get the words out. But it was filled with random stuff and some stuff that I couldn't get hold of anymore. And so it was a bit useless. And I had all this stuff. And when I sat down and worked out the numbers of what I'd paid for all this shopping spree versus what money I'd made, I hadn't made anything. I'd actually cost a load of money because of buying all these things that I told myself were really useful. What I had was an expensive hobby that I had used my so-called business as an excuse for buying them. But I didn't have a business because I hadn't made any money. And so at that point I had to make a choice. I either had to jack it all in and just admit it was a hobby or learn how business really worked learn how to sell so that I was going to make the profit I wanted. And as you can tell by the fact that I'm here talking to you, I decided to learn what to do. I won't lie, it was a long and painful road because not only did I have to learn how to properly run a business, I had to shake off the old habits that I'd already managed to gain, like pricing too low, like selling random anything random that came into mind 
all that had to stop. Very hard. And it, what made it even harder, especially when it came to the pricing, was scrolling through Facebook groups and seeing what people were charging. Seeing other people's photos. Seeing how other people are doing things. And I was with this new insight, I was looking at these posts and going, they're doing exactly the same as I was. Thinking that because they're selling, they must be making money. And I kind of didn't want to sell on social media anymore. And actually one of the best things I did was to switch to Etsy. I still had a Facebook page and I had a group, not very effective if I'm honest. My most effective sales came from Etsy. Now making this switch wasn't easy and you know, you can search online and look at YouTube and look at blogs and trying to find out what works with business, how you sell. And there is some good information out there. There's also some terrible information and there's a whole lot of stuff with not all the information. The truth is, if you want your business to make money sooner rather than later, you need to pay to get the knowledge. Coaching is necessary to take that shortcut. Now, I'm not selling you anything on this podcast. I am simply telling you how to take the shortcut. You can work it out yourself, but it could take you weeks, months, or even years to do that, to get all the pieces in place, to work out the best way that works for you. You can buy a class, a workshop, a membership, coaching, and that will take that all that time that you're going to have to go searching for the answers away. It gives you the shortcut so you don't have to figure out all yourself. It gives you time back. It takes away the frustration of working it out. Coaching is a shortcut. And you can get some really good classes for less than £30. Now, you definitely should check out the coach first and what they have to offer. And they will give you snippets. They will have blogs, um, YouTube videos, podcasts. They will have downloads, uh, freebies that you can check out to see if they're any good. And if their style suits you. So before you invest in any coach, definitely check out their free stuff to see if it's right for you. Now I've invested in all kinds of coaching. I've invested in workshops, masterclasses, courses, memberships, the lot. And what I will say is if you get the right coach, it is well worth it. Because that shortcut is gold because it gives you the knowledge you need to make money now to make your dreams start coming true that sounds a bit fanciful on the surface but often it's just one little piece of information that you're missing because most of the stuff online they will show they will tell you or show you what you need why you need it but the majority of how to do it is hidden behind a paywall you have to pay to get the how so the coaching gives you the how knowing what you need and why you need it is great but how to go about it well, you're stuck without that. You can find most of what coaches offer free on the internet. However, one, you need the confidence that it's right. And two, 
you need to know what you need to know. Sometimes the best part about coaching is that they tell you what you need to know. Because <laughs> if you don't know what you're searching for, how do you know what you're missing? Coaching is a shortcut. You can shortcut your way to success if you're willing to invest. Now, I'm not going to turn around and tell you that you need to put £5,000 on a credit card, which is what one coach once tried to make me do. Absolutely not. You should not bankrupt yourself to get coaching. You can get the coaching you need with what you can afford. There are some great programs out there for under £30. And these are workshops and masterclasses. You don't get any one-to-one time with a coach. You don't get any time with a coach at all, not even a group. But if they have the information you need right now to make your business go, take the next leap forward, then it's worth it. You can make your money back and then maybe next time you can afford one of the coaching classes where they are there. Memberships are great for this because they kind of work on a um, basis of getting a fair few people in and then you get group access to the coach. This can work in um, a Facebook group, a Voxer group, Telegraph, anything where you get to ask the coach a question and they will answer. One-to-one coaching is the most expensive because you have the coach all to yourself in a one-to-one session and you can literally bombard them with questions. That does cost a lot and you definitely need to make sure that you have the right coach for you. So knowing how to crochet is one skill. Knowing how to sell that crochet is another. And the knowing how to sell is much more complicating, much more complicated than knowing how to crochet in the first place. Knowing how to sell has so many different parts to it. If you really want to make this work, then at some point you will need to invest in your business. But how you do that and who you choose to do that with is up to you. But definitely do your research to make sure that you have the right coach that fits for you. So I hope that's given you something to think about. And if you have any questions on this, please do come to my Facebook group. The link is in the show notes and we can talk about it more. So thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.